So I brought the samples over. Um, I got my cleaner here and a microfiber rag so I can clean them off as I get them because they just came out of the packages. And um, I'm super stoked about these products. They are uh, from a distributor called the Masters Craft. Uh, the manufacturer is Real Wood Floors. And I've been waiting on these since I saw them at market. Uh, they're beasts. This is real lumber, so I can't wait to see them. So the first one, um, the collection is called the Tasmania Collection. This color is Richmond. And uh, I like it. I like that color. I like the texture. The texture is, uh, it's not slick, um, it, but it's real clear, which is a good thing because some polyurethanes uh, wind up being real uh, foggy and uh, this is not, it's really, really clear. I like that gray. It's a kind of a medium gray. It's not too on the light side. So first one's looking good. I'm gonna wipe it off here just so I can see that perfect sheen. It's a good looking floor. The color of this one is Richmond. So we'll take that one and set it over here. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, the next one. Ooh, I like this one. Scam, scam, scamander. Scamander. I guess is how you say that. Scamander. Probably Scamander. So this one's Scamander. Looks pretty sweet. Just gonna spray it off. Wipe it down. So these are European oaks. Um, the interesting thing about European oak, real European oak, is that um, Europeans have been growing uh, sustainably for a really long time. Um, years and years and years ago when there was population explosion in Europe, um, basically they cut all the forest down to build things and um, while they did the same thing in the US uh, a few hundred years ago um, since it happened so long ago in Europe um, they've been sustainably growing forests for hundreds of years and so they have um, different uh, timber collections basically of European oak that they've been growing over time and um, every 10 years or so uh, a new part of the forest is is cut and then replanted and so uh, they have like an unending supply of gorgeous uh, european oak that they grow and um, they always will because they've been doing it a long long time and there's uh, only so much that is harvested every year so it's done real real responsibly so um, comes out with gorgeous gorgeous trees and gorgeous wood to make these products with. So that's pretty awesome. So let's talk about this. Um, ultra low matte sheen, 50 year residential warranty, uh, brush textures to reveal authentic wood grain, easy to clean, durable urethane finish. We, we can talk about that while we go. Um, but again, I go back to ultra low matte urethane sheen, which is really nice. Um, the high gloss sheens are, are just way out of style. Hopefully they never come back in the style because this is what real wood looks like, you know? Um, so I really like that all the manufacturers are really starting to go to this. But the other thing is, is again, the depth and the clarity of the product. Um, I love that. So I think uh, if you come in and check this out, you'll like it too. So these are nine and a half inch extra wide uh, planks. They're nine sixteenths inches thick with a three millimeter sawn hardwood veneer. And a sawn hardwood veneer is good because it's actually cut with a blade versus a sliced veneer or a rotary peel veneer, uh, which is cut with a different type of, um, it's just cut a different way. Basically, um, they use the log in a different way and they, they peel it off uh, with a rotary peel and they basically put the log up against a knife and turn the log and it cuts a veneer off. And that doesn't lend to this gorgeous grain uh, that you get when you do a sawn cut veneer. So uh, the knots and everything just come out looking beautiful. So yeah, that is the, the majority information on the back there. And I'll go, I'll let you see it as I go through some of these other products. So we've got Richmond, Scamander, Scamander. Oh, that's a pretty one. This is the 
Strahan, maybe Michael Strahan. Not really, who knows, but it's gorgeous. I love Michael Strahan, he's hilarious. He's awesome. Gorgeous product, more of like a natural oak. Um, your traditional natural oak, it's got a little bit of the yellow tones or golden tones. Um, goes with a lot of different furniture, uh, very popular. Um, and I think that'll be a really good seller as well. I'm kind of torn so far between these last two. I think I like the Scamander better. But that was beautiful. Good colors, three good colors so far. Ooh. Now this one is amazing. And it's got a nice heavy wire brush on it where these other ones didn't. I think this is my favorite, Hobart. That is a good looking floor right there. Wow. It's got a really deep uh, texture to it, a deep wire brush. Um, I love wire brush floors. There's no doubt about that. Man, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. Hmm. Interesting. I was not expecting to have a deep wire brush in the middle of this collection. So that's a nice surprise. I love this graining here. Um, when you cut the grain and you uh, quarter saw or rift and, rift and quarter the logs, you get some of this really pretty graining. I love that. Beautiful material. Next, ooh, dang, it keeps getting better. <sighs> what? Now this is not a nine and a half inch plank, but it's in the same collection. This is Bruni. Hold on, I'm gonna wipe this one off before you see it. This is legit. And it, is, it does not look like yeah, it's not. It's not a European oak. It's a Tasmanian oak. Check this out. Wow. Wow. Six and a half inch plank, up to seven foot boards. By the way, these are up to seven foot too. But look at that freaking floor. Wow. That is hot. I'm impressed. This is gonna be a really, really good seller. I know. One of the things to notice here um, is the color variation. So one thing that's interesting about hardwood floors is if you have a stain color that kind of mutes the, mutes the different character of the wood, or if you're using all of a select grain wood, um, then your your color differences or your your variation your shade variation is much less i prefer high shade variation because to me it just seems a little bit more authentic but that's really personal preference everybody likes different things but i love that floor. that is gorgeous so you've got european oaks and tasmanian oaks so there's three european oaks that are have like a, a very light wire brush one so far the hobart that has a deeper wire brush and then one which is the bruni and that tasmanian oak that's just got a real light tas a light wire brush too okay here's another tasmanian oak and it's got kind of a grayish brown but it's still pretty cool it's a pretty product looks good this one is called sheffield so Another part of the Tasmanian collection. It's called Sheffield. It's got that um, different color grain on the side. Whatever you cut um, a board, if you think about a log on the outside, it's got like a softer uh, part of the grain or a newer part of the grain of the tree. And uh, that's what that is. It's the newer growth and the interior is more of the older growth, but some people call it, it's like sapwood but uh it looks beautiful on the floor i'm really glad that they have a sapwood in there a lot of people cut that off but to me that just takes away the character of the floor again i'm a wood guy so i love the real authentic parts of all the tree all right last two 
Here we go. Okay, a couple more big planks. Ooh, man. All right. This one is epic. Check that out. Another nine and a half inch. And that one goes up to eight feet. So I guess all these nine and a half inch planks are going to go up to eight feet long, which is a huge piece of lumber. Um, that is a really interesting look. It's like a weathered look, but it's not, uh, it's not too blue and it's not too green. And it's really hard to get a product like this to be balanced um, and not be too green or too blue. So I think they did a really good job uh, in hitting that color. It almost looks like it's been fumed and then multi-step coated. So gorgeous product. So that is Davin, Devonport. So Devonport. All right. And then we have the very last but not least. Swan Sea. Another European oak. Green is so gorgeous. Boom. Look at that. Pretty. That is another very pretty floor. That's what I want in my house. So let's just do a comparison here. Swan C versus my other favorite, which was Scamander. Scamander. Let's check these out, ladies. Get back down on the floor. Commander and the other one look very similar. It, this one's called Swan Sea, and here's the Scamander. So you tell me, are they the same? They sure do look the same. Let me come around here and check it out from your angle. Let's see. To me, they look exactly the same. So I'm going to bet that they came in mislabeled. One's got to be different. The Scamander and the Swansea. Okay, we'll call the Master Scrapped and find out what happened. All right, guys, so that was the product reveal for the Tasmania collection from the Mastercraft. Um, I love doing these, so I'm going to start doing these on a regular basis. Um, I'm a wood guy. I'm nerdy like that. I mean, my license plate is literally wood guy, so um, I just love all types of hardwood. I love hardwood floors, and um, if I like them, there's probably other people out there that like them too. So I'm going to do uh, a bunch of videos on different types of wood, talk about products, talk about finishes. Um, and I'm, you know, I've been doing this a long time, been in the industry for 15 years, but I'm learning every day. So uh, the point is you never stop learning. Uh, you never try, stop getting better at your trade, at your craft. And, um, and you have a lifelong learning experience and it's so much fun. Um, you know, I think that in the future, I will be building more and more furniture. I love building furniture. I love building furniture out of wood floors. So maybe we can do some videos on that as well. And um, if you have any suggestions or any products that you'd like to see, uh, leave a message in the comments and uh, maybe I can get my hands on them, on some samples, and uh, we'll do a product review on them. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Oh yeah, and don't forget, Wood Floors of Dallas. Come see me if you need anything. My phone number is 972-525-0026. I'll put it at, in the video. You can also email me at info at woodfloorsofdallas.com. All right, take care.